Dear DJI, my name is Xavier Arthur, also known as Drone X Factor, and I hope that you're watching this video today because I have a few key features that I think you should implement in your existing drones, and if not, in your up and coming drones that will help us to accomplish more in less time. Let me get straight into my suggestions. This is what I'm talking about, DJI. You should have uh, specific settings for video and specific settings for photos. This is what I'm going to be shooting at right now. Uh, this is my settings for videos. Okay, so let me stop. I'll hit record, record buttons right here. And I'll shoot a video for probably about 10, 15 seconds. Maybe um, I'm shooting a sign or, or a nice uh, moving uh, landscape, just something. I'm shooting something, okay, I stop and I see something, I say to myself, hey, this will make a really great picture. Like this will make a really awesome picture. Let me switch over to the, to the photo settings. Here I go, I switch over to the photo settings. Now, if you take a lot of photos with your drone and you also shoot a lot of videos, then you know your photo settings is not going to be the same as your video settings. So automatically now I'm in the air, I'm hovering or whatever it is, I'm lined up with my grid, my uh, one third rule, whatever it is, getting ready to take this shot. Now I've got to go back into my settings and set up my shot for photos. So my photos, uh, let's just say it's at ISO 100. My aperture, I lower it to about six point something, 6.3. And then my shutter, uh, let's go 2.5 or something on my shutter, brighten up shutter because you want nice crisp images, whatever the case may be. This is just an example, nothing uh, perfect. So anyway, this, this, I decide I want to be my photo settings. Let me go ahead and snap a photo. Boom, I just snapped the shot and I got this wonderful, great shot. Now, suppose I turn around now and there's this wonderful, beautiful yacht or boat I really want to catch a video of, like I want to do a nice orbit or something. And then I say, okay, fine, I just got my picture. Let me head over back to my video and go chase that boat. So I switch over back to my video settings and, and boom, look. My video settings and my photo settings are, are the same. Whatever I had the photo set to it automatically keeps that settings for video. And like, this is totally inconvenient. So all I'm asking you, DJI, is can you have your photo settings remain the same? regardless if you jump out of photo and you go to video and then you jump back to photo have it remember what you had your photo settings at had it remember what you had your video settings set at so that if we want to go up in the air and we want to take a combination of photos and videos we can do that hassle free it's all about efficiency in 2018 and it's little things like this that really make a, a big difference especially for someone who's trying to uh, transition from the hobbyist into the pro sphere or somebody who's trying to do a little bit of both. Maybe I need photos for my Instagram. Maybe I need videos for my YouTube channel or whatever it is. I want to be able to catch or accomplish both within that one flight. Uh, settings like this would really be helpful. And in addition to this DJI, if you want to take this a step further, just a little further and make it even better and have certain pre-named uh, settings set up for midday, for sunset, for night shots, for um, long exposure, for all these different uh, classifications that we can save for videos so that we can all automatically load them back if we know we're going to do a sunset shot. We load the sunset savings for the video and then we can jump over to the photo section. We have ability to load the savings for sunset, for photography, so we can just tweak a little bit from there going forward instead of having to remember or play with the camera and start all over again and look for or try to remember what we had and what worked best last sunset. Now, this is a Phantom 4 Pro Plus remote controller. It has these little toggle switches here. The first one is P for P mode, which is a standard flight mode, and then S for sports mode, and then A for ATI mode. So right now it's on ATI mode, and then sports mode, and then P mode. So the reason I'm bringing this up, uh, DJI, is because if you can implement this on your DJI Mavic Pro 2 drone, that would be awesome, and I'll tell you why. Now, before I do, I wanna say that if you are coming out with the Mavic 2, 
then it's fine if you leave this switch out. But if you're coming out with anything pro, if you're coming out with a pro model, please give us these options in the pro because a lot of times if the wind is blowing and we are on GPS positioning hold, which is the P mode position hold, and it can jerk the shot a little bit. I always prefer to go in ATI mode, let the wind blow, blow the drone so it goes through its natural motion and the shot looks much more natural and smooth. This is something that I would like to have control over myself as I'm looking to really improve the type of shots and the quality and the smoothness, smoothness of the shots that I'm taking. I don't have that option with the Mavic Pro because it senses if there's a GPS problem and then it goes into ADI mode. I'd like to be able to go into ADI mode myself, have the drone move with the wind so that way my shot that I'm trying to achieve looks very natural. So if you can DJI, at least on the Pro model, give us this switch so that we have the Pro options on the Pro portable drones. Does that make sense, DJI? And if you're listening to this video, you're a subscriber, you just happen to bump across this video, let me know what you think. Do you use the, the Addy mode switch? Do you think it's useful? Is it something that you would want on your controller if you're buying the Pro model with the one inch sensor? Also, while I'm here, guys, I wanna talk about one more thing. I noticed that timing is key right now. There are people in 2018 who are saying, look, I plan to buy a new drone this year. I already have a Mavic Pro. I'm not going to go and buy another Mavic Pro, but I want something new for 2018. When DJI released the, released the press conference schedule for July 18th, everybody was like, fine, we'll wait. Now the press conference got canceled, it got postponed, and then I heard rumors this morning on Twitter from Estella V, uh, who leaks a lot of the DJI stuff, who's usually on point. He said that they were having gimbal issues and they had 150,000 units or something like that that had to be recalled that were manufactured already that have to be fixed with this gimbal issue problem. Now, if that's the situation, then wow, you kind of just gave Autel a free pass. You just slipped up like really big there and you gave Autel the opportunity to sell drones right now because this is peak time, DJI. At least hold a press conference accept pre-orders or something because people are gonna buy these Autel Evos. This is the time, especially in the summer, August, and that's pretty much it. The summer starts taping down in September, starts getting a little chilly. People wanna fly now. This is prime time for flying now. This is prime time for buying and flying now for new drones uh, in the summertime. So you're actually giving a lot of sales to Autel right now by not even telling people a date, not even showing people what you have. You know, it's one thing if you show them what you have, tell them you'll really sit in three months. Give yourself time to fix whatever it is, but at least let people know what's coming and they have something to look forward to on an estimated date. Guys, once again, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. Don't forget to drop me a dollar on Patreon. Patreon really goes a long way. I really appreciate every dollar that you guys, my patrons, uh, donate to me every month. It's a little bit, comes from a lot of you guys, would help me take a long way in my goals for this YouTube channel and for my further giveaways. So don't forget to hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think, if you think this would be a helpful feature for you and that DJI should implement this or not.